Hello. Many a time I I get questions uh, about the NPV calculation that the calculation by using different methods or by manual calculation uh, people get different results and there is obviously reasons for it. I mean the Excel formulas are not wrong. Uh, the calculation is right. There is uh, some specific reasons why this kind of uh, situation is happening. Previously we have uh, in other blog posts I have covered you know why the NPV calculation the manual calculation and the excel formula calculation does not match in this case in this today's video i'm going to look at a specific case of uh, an investment scheme where somebody is going to invest for say a 10 years straight and then they start to get the income back in the 10th years and onward and also at the end of this investment scheme uh, they get a lump sum payment and my friend was doing this calculation and as expected he was getting different results by using different formulas so he came to me and said that the calculation does not match so let's go and check what exactly is the problem here so i have this specific uh, investment scheme uh, where somebody is going to invest every year 250000 for say 9 years and then there is a you know gap of 5 years no investment required and from 15th year onward you start to get some income uh, and this income goes on goes on say up to 43rd year and in 44th year you get a lump sum uh, payment of 2.7 million so he came and you know he asked that if this is a good investment and uh, he himself did some calculation actually so we will just go and see how does this work and for his case uh, he assumed discount rate of 6% this is what this was what his expectation was uh, so this is like every anniversary he gets uh, he invest and then he gets uh, onwards on the 15th anniversary onwards so just let's use the x npv formula to calculate the npv so we just do x npv x npv and the rate is of course the discount rate and then the values are these are the values up to here and you have the dates we can just select the dates like this up to here okay so my npv is 307 negative Obviously, this is not a very good investment scheme. Now, if I do the NPV formula, so I use the NPV formula and the rate is obviously 6%. The values are these ones. We do not take the first value because this is happening in the year zero. And this plus the first year value, which is 250,000. And we get 305,000 negative as the NPV. So obviously they do not match so what my friend did was the right thing to do so calculate the present value of individual cash flow so present value of this is this divided by one plus discount rate which is six percent we just freeze this because we are going to drag it down and discount it for the year zero and it will obviously remain 250,000 because there is no discounting happening and we just drag it up to year 44 and we just sum it up it is 305 983 which is exactly what we are getting from the npv formula so the pv manual calculation gives me 305000 which matches with this which is the npv formula so what is happening with x npv formula what is wrong here and in fact there is nothing wrong in fact you know what is happening that when we do this calculation or this calculation we are not specifying how many days are in the year in that particular year you will have few leaps here during this investment duration so what what can i do you know if i change this because this is just the anniversary i'm saying okay this plus 365 days and i'm going to drag this up to this and you see that there are different dates because there are leap year and now you see surprisingly the calculation matches all the npv formulas gives me exactly same results 
And this is happening because this calculation assumes and this calculation, both of these calculations assumes that in the period between 1 and 2, 2 and 3, there are 365 days. And since we have not specified the dates here, it assumes that it had the year is just 365 days. And here in this one, when we specified the date and we said that this next date is exactly after 365 days, then the calculation matches. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. See you again soon.